All right, here we go. It's rock and roll, people. Good to see you out the calm before the winter occurs on this Wednesday, January the 10th. Excuse my snottiness. Uh, Las Vegas has caught up with me, so we'll just, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, real quick, our first rule of order for 2024 is the election of board officers at this time. I will turn it over to... Uh, uh, our vice president, and we will entertain motions to fill the uh, duties of president, vice president, <laughs> vice president, and uh, secretary. Floor is open for nominations. Anybody wants to volunteer? For president, who wants to be nominated for president? I nominate, I nominate Jeff. Your second. Second. Any Sounds discussion? Good. You want to discuss? <laughs> Sounds good. I have not absconded of funds to go to Vegas. Uh, all, all in favor? All those in favor. Aye. 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 Jesus. Take over, Mr. President. All right. Well, I got to have a vice president. I'd entertain. Who wants to be a <coughs> fine, outstanding vice president with this fine board? I nominate Karen Taylor. Oh, no, no. I nominate Tom Burns. <laughs> I second that nomination. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, for secretary, I'd entertain motion. I nominate Helen Taylor. She Second. can be nominated. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, guys. We retain our dubious distinction of questionable character. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, real quick, way back in December of last year, which is, you know, I still think that seems like a million years ago. Uh, thank you, Miss D, for getting the notes and everything out. Uh, hope you had a chance to peruse. Are there any corrections, additions? If not, I'd entertain a motion of accepting the minutes of December of 2023. Moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Just a couple things here, real quick. Uh, Eric, I'm sure you'll touch on it. I did see Heartland got their, and it turned out very nice. Their fencing on the patio area complete. Yes. And it was. They don't have the the locking mechanism on it yet, so it's still open. But okay, and. The issue of hitting a line early on in the process has been correct. Okay. It does look very nice. So, and I've been, one thing, I bug Eric about a lot of things I have for 40 years. Uh, we are going to get that fence at Play Park, Oakland and Play Park done. I swear as God made little green apples. So, Eric, what's the potential dig date? Uh, Jason Poe. Text emailed me today, and he said two to three weeks, weather permitting. All right. That uh, is good. I would say by the end of February. Good, good, good. Uh, our bundles of joy have been out of school for two weeks. Uh, any uptick in vandalisms or break-ins or anything? Not that I'm aware of. Too cold. Uh, well, that's good. Wow. <laughs> and th you're, those are not used to attending these, these are... And, this, and you have been a public servant, Ms. Helen, but everybody up here, and I'm going to throw Ms. Mazur under the bus, too, that we're all educators in some way, shape, or form. So when we say bundles of joy and the like, that chuckles. Sarcasm to a certain degree. Uh, <laughs> fill in the blank. A uh, couple things here is a uh, big night tonight. We are excited. We are going to have two major trail projects going on right in the shadows of each other and one of them is our one that we're working on that we're going to address tonight 63rd street trail i don't know what to call it uh beyond that but we're going to be addressing that and then of course uh tomorrow night at aj's kind of an improv celebration with the indy urban wilderness group and others that helped make the fall creek corridor trail uh, a possibility that's going to be at 5 30. Uh, we are definitely the heavy hitter stakeholders in that because uh, we are going to be overseeing obviously the grant with 63rd street and the city of lawrence and this department no pressure uh going to be overseeing the fall creek trail extension also so invited to come on over to aj's and kind of celebrate it's the calm before 
uh, the storm. Uh, speaking of the storm, Eric, just refresh our memory. Our guys, when the snow flies and the ice flies, what are we particularly responsible for? We do all the snow removal at all the, well, the police station, the uh, police admit or the uh, shooting range, the Lawrence Government Center, then of course all of our own. Okay. Uh, parking lots, we do everything within the park system. The uh, the government center here, and uh, okay. Then we then we jump onto the streets. If Got we, it. When we finish those things. All right. Um, Ms. Liz, Council, Council Lady, Liz Missouri, can I pick your brain a minute real quick? I did not know if the Council have selected their or prepared their committees yet and the like. Okay, I am pushing from this seat. I'd love to see you as Chair of the Parks Committee and I may push your Council folks to maybe, you can throw rocks at me. Uh, but it'd really be nice and it's been a bipartisan neglect so it's easy to say that we were we really haven't had a we've had parts committee of the common council democrat republican mayors it doesn't matter uh and they have not played an active role uh with this so i i might circulate a letter that i really find it appreciative and desirous of somebody who, you and i that and they're kind of the passion for our park so I'd like to see that happen. So when a committee assignments happen, Mr. Missouri there, you can throw rocks at me because working with Liz is fun, uh, but it'd be nice to have somebody dy dynamic and caring from the legislative branch that we could throw ideals off of. So raise your hand when that time comes when they'd start picking committees. All right, thank you. All right, uh, colleagues, any questions, comments? Yeah, it might be a little early, but the projects that were on the table for last year, are, I mean, are, are we the, still uh, on the table anyway? The, I actually just met today with the controller, uh, Humphrey Nigels, the was the deputy controller has been appointed the controller. Uh, so we've got that connectivity and, and um, Spoke to him today about a couple expenditures for the department, uh, vehicle expenditures. So <coughs> it looks like we're going to go ask for additional appropriations from the council. That, that's the path that we're looking at. Um, so, so those projects will be put in back back in. But as far as the project projects, they're all still together. And we've got we've got some things left over from last year that we've. Uh, Continue working on. What are and do we have a priority in order? Of we've got playground equipment for community park. We've got benches. We've got uh, the exercise equipment that still has to go in. This and the only unfortunate, the only time that parks department has is now January, February, and March. Uh, a little bit of April until then we start cutting grass end of April. So we've got to get those projects done early um, and we had a staff meeting just yesterday and discussed uh, play park fencing with play park uh, restrooms We've, we're going to redo the restrooms in stock in-house as much as we can uh, then bring a contractor in to set the fixtures and uh, <coughs> so those things are continuing on some of those projects that that we might have, that we're going to try to do in house as much as we can because the capital funds just were not there. So, any other question, Eric? Anything for the? Uh, just briefly, um, we did meet yesterday also on the uh, eclipse. Um, I love Corey, but she left some big shoes to fill with regards to some of the projects she had going on. So the eclipse is something that the administration wants to get behind. Uh, so we're looking at, at April the 8th is that day. And we're now just working with the police department to find out our process of how we're going to get people in and out of the community park. Cause it, we think it's going to be like, just like July 4th, where it's a big crowd. You know, and at that time, like we've talked, if it's a, 
April 50th day, I think it could be. If it's April in Indiana, I've coached track for 42 years. I've had a lot of track meets canceled, postponed in April with that nice little snow shower mm -hmm. uh, type of day. It may not be as eventful, but it's still going to get darker on the inside of a boot and still got to be prepared for it. And kids will not be in school in central Indiana and all of that. So right. something's going to happen regardless. Yeah, so it's got to have something in place. Tent is to have kind of a carnival atmosphere with food trucks and bands playing, music playing, and we're going to try to keep people in the park until about 6.30, 7 o'clock. That way the traffic, because <coughs> Fort Harrison State Park, right. is open. they're closing their gates, 600 vehicles, so. Oh, wow. That overflow. Could, you know, there could be overflow towards us. Yeah. And, uh, so and being on the northeast side and complement the city of Lawrence Park system, we've always been the provider, not necessarily of last refuge, but a lot of times the provider of first refuge from everybody in the northeast side of Marion County. So and that particular day, DFAS is going to be closed. Oh, wow. They're not going to allow anybody to park in their lots. So that's, again, going to push people okay. into the park or, or elsewhere on around the okay. person. So just something to to keep abreast of. Um, and Jeff did mention the uh, Fall Creek Trail extension. Um, we were provided a big check on in December. Right. And, um, actually, there was an article today in the Star that um, that I was interviewed for. And it's again, it, we have to reiterate that the this process wouldn't have helped when it happened with just Lawrence. It was, right. you know, we have to thank our friends at Indy DPW and Indy Parks and uh, and the uh, Indy Wilderness, Urban Wilderness Group and, 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 and her friends at DNR. Yeah, and Central Indiana Community yeah. Foundation. So um, it's going to be a busy time, uh, which is nice that this project is kind of the trail we're working on now is kind of priming us for that next one so uh, hopefully it'll go just as smoothly as this one has anything else any questions mm -hmm. all right uh being we have a new executive administration and pursuant to indiana and city of lord's code uh we must grill and decide if Mr. Martin is worthy to be retained in his position as superintendent of the city of Lawrence park system uh, we have a letter of support uh, mayor uh, whitfield uh, would like to uh, have eric uh, uh, retained as superintendent of parks and recreation for the city of lawrence uh, and that is pursuant to approval of uh, the board of parks and recreation with that being said uh, i would entertain a motion on the retention of eric martin as superintendent of parks and recreation for the city of lawrence Move. Is there a second? Second. There any discussion? Do you, do you think we should interview this candidate? <laughs> yeah. You don't know me after 39 years. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, Eric and I go way back. Uh, I'm at the, well, wait, I'll wait till the vote's taken. I want to jinx you. Uh, no more discussion being needed. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? How many years will this be for you going on to be superintendent? Uh, with the when I originally came on in May the seventh of nineteen eighty four, I right. was the recreation or the maintenance director. Right. And we had a split department back then. So we That's had, right. We didn't have a director. We had a director of maintenance and director of recreation. That's right. And then uh, in nineteen eighty eight, uh, I became the parks director. Man. So he's old, isn't he? That was yeah. he's old. It's Methuselah. And if you've ever seen the TV series Parks and Rec, there's a lot of truth in that, so we'll just leave it at that. And I've been around the Parks Department. That's awesome right here. Yeah, I've been around the Parks Department in some way since May of 84. So, and Eric and I have stories about those days early, and that, that we'll wait till we're retired and in Florida, and we cannot be held accountable all right eric next on the agenda we have a contract award for lee road trail construction next level three calumet pa uh, paving you want to walk us through that please 
Gretchen, do you like to lead us through that? Um, had seven bidders? Yes, that's right. Um, seven bidders, they all, all of their documentation for all of them was in order. Um, Calumet was the low bidder, and I recommend uh, awarding that to the low bidder. What was the cost of the, that they? $946,000. And what was the estimated cost that you all? And the engineer's estimate was uh, $1,082,000. Okay. $7.78. So they're, wow. Um, and they all were within, we just had one outlier. Yeah, not right. right. Was that the one six or it's one six? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes, from uh, All American Construction and Home. There you go. The, the largest. Any questions? Be none, I'd entertain a motion of accepting, not accepting, of entering an agreement with Calumet Paving for the construction of our next level trails three project. So moved. There's a second. Second. All those in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Thank you, dear. And next in the agenda here, folks, is consulting contract with United Consulting for construction inspection services related to next level trail three Lee Road Trail project. Eric. Um, I'm pretty good at things, but I don't know that I can do, do everything. So this is a uh, inspections uh, uh, project manager will be on staff. That was the bottom, that's all you had, they were going to be, would serve as our project manager. Got it. Um, we have Chris Miller here from United, if he'd like to discuss anything. Uh, Pop up here. If you entertain any questions, if you have them, uh, we uh, were selected to provide uh, inspection services over the trail that uh, Gretchen and her team did the design on. Uh, we'll be, have a project manager certified uh, inspector on site. Uh, they'll be full-time and uh, be there to watch over the contractor, the pay quantities, uh, make sure that uh, the project is being constructed um, within the specs that Gretchen and her team have spelled out and that the, uh, the city is expecting the quality of the, to be built to. Questions? The, the price of the agreement is $136,000. Okay, and that's for the duration of the project, correct? Got it. And that. Not blowing smoke towards United because that's what they do, but working in particular with Gretchen, it is, it's, a, it's been a learning experience. She's very professional and yet understands that there are doofuses like me who don't necessarily, and she speaks English on these projects, but it's been fascinating to sit, learn in our sessions. So uh, with that being said, Eric, real quick, I know you met today. How are the monies? Where, how are we doing this? So funding. Um <coughs> this grant was a $1.75 million grant from Next Level Trails. The city uh, is responsible for $500,000 of the, of the grant. So we've already, the city's already paid $220,000. So we have roughly $180,000 left. I'm not sure what happens if we don't meet that, Matt. Right. But... Uh, because it sounds like we can get the job done for the balance of what's on the. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to ask. On the grant, so. Okay. Not, I don't know if we turned back. I don't. I don't know how that works. I've got to call into okay. ER on that. So, um, but the controller assures me that we'll have the balance of the city funds if needed. But, okay. My question is going to be: Do we use city funds last, or do we use grant money? I, and I'm not sure of that. Okay. Got it. Got it. I don't know if we work off a percentage until we finish it or right. um, I, I don't know again it's a call for, for DNR to Got tell it. me how that grant process works so I don't know but we're good yes. until I, go ahead I vaguely remember that, that the match was less than that, that the I match on, on the on the next project is less okay yeah the reason we went with a Generally, the, the match is 20%. Right. I think this particular match was 29% because we underscored in the, our original applications. And so to, to make that 
To dress it up a bit. To, dra yeah, to, to okay. get enough high enough score to, to right. get the grant, we put more seed in okay. it. So, but we didn't have to on this. On the this bigger one, yeah. right. Had more partners involved with it, right. <clears throat> Any other questions? All right, I'd entertain a motion that uh, entering to a consulting contract with United Consulting for the next level Trail 3 Lee Road Trail project. There a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, start consulting, Dad going. On. Thank you, Gretch. All right, anything else from the public that they'd like to say, comment? From once, twice? Yeah, if you said something, I mean, last month you would decide this month about when the meeting would be in February because of Valentine's Day. Oh, jeez. Did oh, you yeah. forget about that? Yeah. Real quick, uh, do you feel good? Am I going to make anyone angry if we met on Valentine's Day for a meeting? I've been married for 20 oh. years. I understand. It's we, uh, we renewed our vows in Vegas at the Elvis Wedding Chapel. It's one of our activities. Then we've actually been a couple for 20, and she still lets me sleep in the house. So. <laughs> yes. Okay. There you go. You know me well enough. I geez, OP. Uh, let's just stick with February 14th, unless you get suddenly a. Some of you show up missing and you've been run through a chipper. I'll understand. Yeah. See if we have anything around. See if, if we had to, we could change it. If we had to. Yeah. Eric, are you adverse of coming in here on Valentine's Day? No. I I'll take you to dinner. Yeah. There you go. All right. Be none. Uh, if you're an IU basketball fan, get your world right because you're killing me right now. All right. Meeting adjourned.